Hey everybody, today we're going to show you the best pal that you can use for watering in your base here in Pal World. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So when it comes to watering in your base, there's one pal that exceeds the others with level 4 watering, and that's going to be Jormantide. If you guys haven't seen him yet, this is what Jormantide looks like, a giant blue dragon. He does a really good job of watering, as he's the only pal in the game that has level 4 watering. The only downside about this guy is that he is huge and can take up a ton of room. You guys can see in my small little circular base here, and I say small as we take up the entire circle, he does end up taking up the entire middle. And if you're running a Jormantide Ignis to deal with kindling, you're going to have two of these giant dragons overtaking your base. So one thing you can do is actually use a smaller pal to stay consistent in your base that's always there and watering things. And you can hold on to Jormantide in your inventory what I generally like to do is throw in a separate pal. There's a couple that you can use. One is Azurobe. You guys can see here, Azurobe has level three watering and only watering. So this is a really good option. Another one is the Suzaku Aqua. This one's a little bit more difficult to find and a little bit higher of a level, but this one also has uh, level three at watering. The only downside with this guy is sometimes he'll get stuck in trees or glitched on the edge of your base uh, currently in the game. But these are two really good options to use. Um, and keeping Jormantide in your inventory is very useful. Now, I'll do this with, with Jormantide Ignis as well. But essentially what you want to do is just hold on to him. And let's say you want to make Paldium Fragments. You can come over here to where you would need him. Just step back a few steps, throw him straight on the ground, and he'll stand directly in front of it and water it for you. As you guys can see, he's actually going to water the flower bed right now. If I can get him to line up perfectly, eventually he will end up watering and making the Paldium Fragments. You guys can see there he goes now, and he'll stand here and do it as long as you stand here. Or you can just kind of meander around your base and let him do this. But this is really useful because you can let him do his thing for, for something that you actually need in the moment. And then when you're done, you can just scoop him back up, let the smaller pals deal with watering other things in your base to keep it active. And then you don't have to worry about a giant blue dragon just taking up your entire space and glitching your game out. So, uh, but again, Jormantide is the best one to get. He is the highest level when it comes to watering and the quickest. If you don't already know where this guy is located, he's going to be found on the far eastern side of the map by these two islands here. You can see he's going to be located right here where this giant skull is in the middle of the water. Again, he is level 45. This is kind of a difficult boss to take out. So you do need to make sure that you've leveled up a decent amount and have some decent weapons before you actually go out there and try to capture this guy. But again, that is the best one that you can get. The other options we'll show you one more time are Azurobe, who is really, really good. Highly recommend getting Azurobe and, uh, and Suzaku Aqua. These are three uh, that I'll generally use for my base. But yeah, this is the best pal for watering here in Pal World. If you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave them down in the comment section below. I appreciate you watching the video and we'll see you in the next one.